So, do you drive a four-wheel drive that's got independent suspension, that you've got bigger tyres on, that you do a lot of four-wheel driving with? Sooner or later, you're probably going to break your, uh, or damage your drive shaft. Now, um, and I'm talking CV joints. Now, mine, 230k, 230,000, been pretty unbreakable, the mighty Triton, but uh, got taken out by a stick bit of tea tree and uh, it's poked a hole in my CV boot and it's been there for a little while by the look of it now it's making a terrible noise so been down to my local Burson's picked up a replacement drive shaft and uh, we'll install it today so pretty straightforward anyone can do it it's probably easier doing it here at home than out in the track if you bust one so doing some Dukes of Hazard style but uh, all right let's get into it and I'll show you what you need pretty straightforward don't need a whole lot of tools you do, you will need, depending on your car, probably worth checking, um, a 32mm um, socket to get your castle nut off um, when you before you pop out the pop out the CV joint and so on. But for the rest of it, it's just sockets and spanners, screw, um, you know, a couple of Phillips heads and things like that. It's very, very easy to do. It should take around an hour or so in ideal conditions. So I'm hoping to get it done before it starts bucketing down with rain. Shop around with the drive shafts. Um, you know, Bunnings, Repco, significant price differences, you could say, for basically the same thing. So, all right, let's get the wheel off and get stuck into it. All right, now I'll bring you in here, show you what the damage is. So, as you can see here, completely ripped it. Oil, grease. So, time to swap her off. Keep it as a spare. Um, you can buy CV boots and so on, so I might do that. Not going to do a whole lot of heavy duty four wheel driving anymore, but it's always handed out for spare. So. Time to get into it. All right, pin, castle nut. What I'm doing here is just undoing these because this has all got to come away so you can slip it out. Alright, so you undo these top three um, bolts. Also undid the two bolts for the brake calipers. This all falls away and you can actually slide this out i can't remember if i need to undo this brake line just to give it a little bit more droop or not so i'm gonna have a go at doing that now but as you can see this thing's nearly out completely and if you give it a little wiggle yeah it's gonna come out all right so as you can see that's ready now to just slide straight out now yeah Got the replacement here now a little bit of a pro tip if you get a chance try and park your car so that it's angled up 
because obviously going into your gearbox or your, you know dry shaft gearbox up there a little bit of oil can run out so make sure you got your new one ready to go slip it out slip it in and uh, make sure she's lubed up all right so new ones here all nice and shiny it's got the new castle nut on there ready to go in There's the old one out. So as you can see, new and old. So before I put it back in, I'm just going to give everything a bit of a degreasing here and then I'll wipe it all down. No point having grease over everything. Whew. That stick nearly got me brake line. <clears throat> So the CV's in, just had to give it a bit of a tap with the old persuader because there's a pressure um, with all the new steel it just wouldn't go in by push. So it's in there, now it's ready to slide back in. And then let's put it back. So I'm just putting the screw in here for the brake caliper. Got to do the other one. All right, we've jacked up the bottom here. Got to push that into there. All right, brakes are on, screws are in, I think we're pretty much good to go, I think we're pretty much right now, just got to tighten up this castle nut a little bit more. All right, so that's it. Uh, CV joint changed. There's the old one. And uh, she's ready to go. Anyway, hopefully if somebody else gets caught out, pretty straightforward. Um, you only need a handful of tools. Get you back on the road. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.